Yeah, the first week of uh, this project, uh, we always start to uh, find a place where we can work. Entering the building is the most exciting moment. Every building you enter, it's a thrill. Creeping through this fence or trying to climb through a window, that's the most exciting moment. For me, walking through the building, it's like, what kind of building is this actually? Because you can't really tell or you don't know. Yet. But then there's all sorts of details, so you start looking for maybe there's some documents lying around in the offices or some, some machinery or any kind of thing, and you start yeah, imagining what this building could have been. And that, of course, because you don't know for sure, it could be anything. Unbelievable that it's right under the nose of the people, you know, because all these people live in this big city and they see these places but they have no clue as what's inside. When I enter a building, I look at every separate individual room. It's strange that when you enter a room, you immediately feel like I have an idea here. And maybe later on that idea doesn't turn out to be the right idea. But if you immediately feel like, hey, I can do this here, and that might be a good thing, it's, it's the sort of beginning of a journey. Like, you follow a path, and the first step on that path makes it feel like this is the right path. So when I enter a room and I certainly have one, two, three vague ideas that I can do there, then, then that's a hit. When it comes to space, that's more exciting because here you have to react on that what is given. And you don't also, you don't only want to make a work that you want to take home, but you also want to do, to leave something behind. That's, that makes it work this project interesting for me. Like a few things are really important. Um, there needs to be a lot of material to work with because I only work with material that I find here in these buildings or outside but it has to be on this spot and the second important thing is that the space is interesting to work with, especially right now. There are so many holes in this building that you can see through all these floors. I really had this immediately this idea like, fuck, I should do something with this, you know, like make a huge culture which is like dripping out of these, these floors. Right now, I'm at an installation of, I think it's 12 meters high or maybe 14, I don't know all from spray wood and, and stuff I found here and I never ever can do this in my studio, never. And that is something you know that, that triggers your, your imagination. That's really great. So this is like freedom. What I what I notice when I come into a building or different spaces within the building, of course it's about the, the architecture, what was it made of, what was it built for, what materials, when was it made, so that's what I'm looking for, but at the same time I'm notice, noticing that it's really about the spatial constellation, so I walk through it, I look in front of me, behind me, uh, down and up, I really try to well, set myself in that building physically and to see what that space does for me, how it changes when I walk through or when I bend down or maybe the sounds that are in the space because the work that I'm planning to make or that I want to make also has to do with the spatial 
very concrete and tangible spatial uh, dimension. Now what I do is painting, and I always try to do very minimal paintings, but let the building or the space speak for itself. I like to add something that emphasizes the, the room, the building, the whole area. Well, I do more painting illegally, but then I'm just on my own, so that's already clear how to work. Well, normally I would go somewhere and paint something and go somewhere else. But now you stay in the same place for a few weeks and you really get to know the, the area, the, the building, um, people living nearby, everything, how things work, and you can play with it. You, the longer you, you are there, the more possibilities you recognize uh, to work there. After a while you start working differently than you used to do. Last year I made a big cube. It, it was a cube that I made, it was like an open space. But this time I wanted to use all the material and to make like a, a, a massive, a, a massive like a pyramid. Uh, I think it's references in, in utopian architecture. Uh, I'm very interested in all these uh, people who really wanted to change something uh, with, with architecture. It's maybe interesting to think about um, how much time we spent in uh, breaking down this, this, this sculpture from, from last year and bring it here. And it can only be art because yeah, it doesn't change anything. Um, it's just because we want to do that. And we see some poetic move uh, to do that. But it's not like, yeah, it, 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 it doesn't change anything. But uh, I think that's, that's, it, that's, that's interesting for this. Uh, from, yeah, from this project.